the main character of my novel is Professor Chandra, who is a Cambridge economist, a neoliberal. He's very highly regarded and respected. He's at the top of his field, and every year he's expecting to win the Nobel Prize, which he never wins. Uh, Professor Chandra is lacking, unfortunately, in emotional intelligence, and he's very pompous, and he has a huge ego. Then one day he's hit by a bicycle, and he wakes up in hospital alone, and he decides to find out why he's not as happy as he ought to be. What I'd like readers to feel when they finish the book is a sense of hope and a sense of faith, just to put a little more faith in life and a little less cynicism and pessimism. And I hope the book can affect that by showing that somebody like Professor Chandra, who's very identified with his intellect, um, can look back at his life and realize that the things that really mattered were his experiences of love uh, rather than his achievements. So I'm a fellow of the Himera Foundation for Writers and Artists with a Meditation Practice. And meditation has hugely affected my relationship with writing. I used to get a lot of my ideas um, in dreams, which was a very random and haphazard way. And now meditation has ensured that I'm in contact with my subconscious sufficiently throughout the year that, right, that ideas do come. And I'm able to trust that process. But in a sort of more nuts and bolts way, um, Every day after I finish writing, I meditate, and that kind of puts the novel to bed, and I'm able to come up with solutions to any minor day-to-day -day problems that I have.